I think we've thrown more money at the education system uh, by decade than ever. We keep throwing more money at it. That's not what's happening. They, I, I've known people who were like substitute teachers and they said, you can't believe, and these are, this is not in some poor school district, and said, yeah, the kids all have like giant computers on their desk, which they use to play to play uh, tour of duty or whatever the fuck. Two of, my, two of my very good friends teach in the LAUSD and they have similar issues with the teachers union and how the, how much waste there is in, in graft. And is not the right teaching. Thing? And it's, yes, there's, there's, a, there's a lack of, of motivation for that to happen. Classes are way too big. You're basically managing no. kids that are undiagnosed with a lot of issues. There's language issues. There's classes there's are not always, not always, sometimes classes are way too big. Not in like, in these nice schools, not only are they not too big, but like anyone, any kid who's deemed like special needs, and of course there's been a lot of mission creep on that term. Sure. Okay, any kid who's special has to have like a, a second person. I think this person who was telling me about it, there was like 20 kids in the class and like eight of them had or four of them or something like that had another person in the class with them. This other, so there were like five teachers in a classroom of 20. <laughs> the teachers were overcrowded, okay. not the kids. Uh, that's, I, that hasn't, I haven't heard of that. But no, I, I, I'm, I will also say though, to your, to your point about special needs, because I was raised in the 80s. I went to a very fancy private school because I, my mom wanted me to go there. Her dying wish was for me to go there and I was smart enough to get in and we had enough wow. whatever to, for me to get in and go. Changed my life, completely really? changed my life. Had a beautiful school, had a beautiful seventh through 12th grade experience. Mm. My best friend, who I, who's still my best friend, who's going to be the best man at my wedding, wow. um, went to the same school and he couldn't get the lessons. And I was always like, what's the deal, man? It's like, let me help you out. Let me show you what's up, with them. I'll help you. I just don't, I don't know. Turns out, He's mildly dyslexic, has a learning disability, he can't read as fast as I can. Right. Just that. Yeah, sure. His brother, six years younger than him, same thing. By that time, the school had re recognized that that's a thing. Right. And his brother sailed through that school like crazy because he had the extra attention, he had the extra time. And as we were saying before, both things are true. Both things are true. And both I think when, you, when it starts the, to get yeah. this dialectic where you right. cannot have right. one thing because the other and thing can't And that's the problem. Be. See, like if this was CNN, um, the Democrat... Well, would, first of all, Trump would be on. Trump would be on. I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> but I think they should have put him on. I do too. I, I do, yeah, okay. So I would have had a different approach to the interview style, but there we go. I mean, I don't blame her that much either, but I did have issues and I don't want to talk too much out of school because I do. Hey, thanks for watching the clip. Hit the subscribe button now so you never miss out on our club random content that's posted daily.